So, um, we have the last little, little portion. There's actually some comments from my side and uh, some final discussion, if there are any ideas from your side. Let me summarize what we've seen in the past year. We've seen new hardware like the STEM Lab 16. We've seen Pluto coming as a new platform. We've seen new projects. We've seen the first exclusive SDR band, that's the QR100, where there does not exist any hardware you can buy and just operate. You have to do it yourself. We've seen no major vendor selling any more devices without SDR concepts, maybe except Hilberling. But um, that's uh, a recent development that is almost exclusively and, and, and uh, entirely eliminated traditional, uh, t traditional uh, software um, uh, signal processing technologies from the market. We've seen new operating modes. We've seen also a special focus on space-based systems, space-based technologies. We've also seen more and more homebrew projects. That's uh, the development of the past year compared to last year's SDRA. So we live in very, very exciting times. Concerning to the role of the SDRA, um, well, we have, I think we've seen that the SDRA, which has taken place the fifth year now, um, has established as a central conference where software meets practitioners. Um, after five years and now after 81 talks, I think, we've recorded 81 talks and we're presenting 81 talks on our YouTube channel. We are up to, I've just looked it up, 1,484, so nearly 1,500 subscribers. For such a narrow domain like Software Defined Radio, this is a tremendous number. I'm very proud and I'm very happy that um, in the moment people are, are watching. <laughs> around 25 people are still watching now at this late afternoon, which is really good. <laughs> um, so this is, a, this is a tremendous success for such a very specific topic. Uh, the SDRA has become well established in Europe, also in the world. We have uh, a lot of feedback all f from, from many, well, English-speaking countries first of all. Um, which does not mean that we're getting stable or static, but the SDRA is still under change. It is open for change. So as we've seen, a special focus on, on space-based, space-oriented topics this year. Um, but it also brings me to the uh, more and more upcoming problem in amateur radio that in amateur radio, well, we have the licensing uh, system. People who want to operate in amateur radio need to pass a license worldwide, which is defined uh, in the radio regulations from the United Nations ITU. Um, the, the question is, does the licensing system address software-defined radio? To my knowledge, it does, it does not yet, at least not in Germany. We, in the moment, we still do not have exam questions on SDR. But creating exam questions is only one part. If we create exam questions on SDR, we also need to train the trainers because we cannot educate um, people who are interested in amateur radio if, we, if our trainers don't know how to teach that or how to explain that, how to explain filters, how to explain IQ samples, how to explain um, um, mathematical things and, and complex signals. Um, so there is a big challenge ahead of us that we must educate our trainers, we must focus that, we must increase our efforts um, and we must redefine not just amateur radio and, to and, and topics and, and projects and what everyone can do by himself, but we must standardize that. Um, there was a, uh, a major event recently in April 
there was the Funktag Kassel, um, and there we had the first approaches, and uh, Michael and I, we were also giving a talk there. Uh, we were giving a tutorial on GNU Radio, and I think GNU Radio is the first uh, real possibility and probably also the best possibility to create um, kind of a, well, to, to remove those virtual walls or to at least to, to, to decrease them, to make them smaller and, and help people get into it. Well, that's what I see as the challenges next year. Um, I hope we can organize um, a bigger new radio workshop again next year. Um, we will talk to the uh, organizers of the Ham Radio Fair to uh, give us um, a room maybe on Friday. Um, well, we also need trainers, we need experienced new radio stuff uh, next year again. So this is already a little uh, call or a little uh, reminder, a little uh, a question for, for everyone who's watching, everyone who's uh, in here, please share uh, this request. So we need people to, to, to teach uh, the interested ham radio public that's going to be here next year. Well, that's for my ideas. Uh, are there comments from your side? Are there wishes from your side where we should go? No wishes, so we've done it well. <laughs> okay. Thank you very much anyway. Thanks for coming. Thanks to all our speakers. Um, Michael Hart is not here in the moment. I would like to thank him for the good cooperation. Thanks for the video team, Sebastian, Torben, Tim, Mark, Maximilian. I also would like to thank uh, Renate Stackebrand from DIRC in Baunatal, who has, uh, who has organized everything very well once again. Uh, I would like to Thank, last but not least, our sponsor. Again, Professor Dr. Ulrich Rode, who has uh, made possible that we can organize all that, that we have sufficient funding, and uh, that everything goes well. So, the, the uh, uh, gratitude is the last part here. Uh, thank you again for coming, and uh, then see you again next year. Thank you very much.